He's in my third period math class and fifth period computer science. Always does his homework. Solid B plus student. What about friends? I couldn't tell you. If he had any, I didn't notice. The, the kids team up for certain projects. Justin always worked alone. The other kids didn't want to work with him? Actually, I, I got the feeling he didn't want to work with them. Uh, right, right here. This, this is where Justin sits. Do you mind? Oh, no, help yourself. So, you really think Justin's dad was the sniper? There's a good chance. It just goes to show you can't ever tell about people. He, he seemed like one of the good ones. Never missed a parent-teacher conference. Very concerned about Justin's progress. It's, it's all kind of depressing. Thank you. Jack! Forensics confirmed that the notes were written on the paper from Justin Capshaw's school. This is a copy of the first note. Look at the I in voices. It's not dotted. This is what I printed from Justin's computer at school. No dot here either. Justin had to have written the notes. Call Van Buren. Come on. We both know what you're trying to do. Squeeze the kid to get to his old man. You should be ashamed of yourself. My dad didn't kill anyone. You see? Nothing to squeeze. Actually, Justin, we know you helped your father kill those people. Hold on. I'm still back on my client saying his dad didn't kill anyone. Then why did your client write the notes we found at the scene? I can help you, Justin. If all you did was write those notes, we can cut a deal right here and now. You'd never have to see the inside of a prison cell. My dad didn't shoot those people. Did your father tell you to say that? No. He didn't kill those people. I did. Jack, I think we better regroup later. You can't get me to say anything bad about Dad. I wouldn't think of it. The man gave you everything. That's right. You are what you are today because of him. He didn't make me shoot those people, if that's what you're getting at. But he did teach you to shoot. He was rated an expert marksman in the Marines. We went hunting together. What did Mr. Capshaw tell you about Charlie Rodriguez? He said he was a jerk. He was always picking on Dad. But Dad couldn't do anything because Charlie was the boss. Was Dad worried about losing his job? He said they went over budget on the site. Somebody had to go. He knew Charlie would pick him. And then what would happen? We'd end up without money or food or a place to live. And that's why you shot Charlie Rodriguez? Dad worked hard his whole life. This jerk was going to ruin him. And you couldn't let that happen? I love him. He loves me. Thank you. Tell me about Amy Lane. Who? She's the first person you killed. I, I didn't know her. Nice lady. She had a daughter. Just eight months old. How about Larry Spelling? We get counsel's point, Your Honor. The defense is willing to stipulate the defendant shot three people at random. Move on, Mr. McCoy. What's the worst thing that could have happened if Charlie Rodriguez had fired Mr. Capshaw? We could end up homeless. The government could come and take me away. And that scared you? Yes. So you didn't shoot Charlie Rodriguez to help Mr. Capshaw. You did it for yourself. Huh? Your attorney has been arguing that you shot these people out of some compulsion to protect Mr. Capshaw. But the truth is, you were only thinking about yourself. Isn't that so? No. Dad would come and get me. We're a family. 
Not like them. He loves me. He would come and get me.